So one big take from this um, that a lot of people kind of get confused is that you're turning this into like a race engine and that's not the case at all. Um, this engine really isn't pushed any any further than the stock engine is. You know, we're still in, in 9,000 RPMs here. You know, we took the stock engine to 9,000 RPMs. We've taken the stage four to 9,000 RPMs. The bikes will go to 10,000 RPMs. There's no need to, uh, especially in stock trim. Like it doesn't make any power, it's falling on its face. Um, but even in stage four, um, there's no need to because power is starting to drop. You know, we make max power back here at eight and a half. And so going up to 9,000, you have a little bit of over rev and you're good. You don't need to go to 10,000. Um, but again, we're not, we're, it's not like we're stretching the RPM, like a factory bike goes to seven and we're going to 10 now. And so reliability is gonna be down or anything like that. This is essentially just making the standard engine way more efficient. You know, this isn't, this is not a race gas tune. This is not, uh, you know, an alcohol engine, anything crazy like that. This is, you know, just taking all of the flaws out of the factory engine, you know, all of the handicaps that have to be put in to meet emissions and from the factory and to legally sell them and all that good stuff. We just get to, you know, get rid of all those handicaps and basically make it just a bit more efficient engine. So these aren't strung out, these aren't, these aren't race engines, they're not more unreliable or anything like that. You don't have to change the maintenance intervals. It's not like you have to adjust the valves every 500 miles or something like that. I mean, you can follow the same maintenance intervals that you're getting, you know, from the factory Janus bike.